Hi guys, my name is Frank. This is the Pothon Programming video log and today I'm going to be doing a little tutorial on how to manipulate HTML elements with JavaScript. So I set up a little HTML page here. You can see the output of the page over here in the browser window and I'm going to be manipulating this P element and this input submit button. So this P element here and this input submit button here. And I'm going to be doing that with JavaScript, of course. So I'm going to come over to my JavaScript file. I'm going to get a handle on each of those by saying variable input equals document.get element by ID input. That gives me a handle to my input button. Output equals document.get element by ID outputs. So that will give me a handle on my my input button here and my output P element here. And the reason it does is because get element by ID will search my HTML page for elements with the matching ID. So for instance, output and input so I tell document.getElementById to search for elements with the ID of input and output. Simple enough. Get a handle on an element in just one line of JavaScript. Pretty useful. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a counter. A counter variable, which will keep track of the number of times I click this input button. And I'm going to create a function. to keep track of the, well, actually a function to increase the value of the counter every time I click the input button. So inside of this function that I just created here, I'm just going to increase the value of the counter variable by one. Simple and easy. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the value of the output P element. So this thing right here that says default, is going to equal something else. So what is it going to equal? It's going to equal output dot inner HTML equals you clicked me plus counter plus times. So I'll say something like you click me zero times, you click me 10 times or click me a 1000 times if you really want to stick around and click that button that many times. It'll keep track of the number of times you click it and it will output that string. So now what I need to do in order to make all this code work is add an event listener to my input button. And how you do that is simple. I'm going to show you right now. Input .add event listener. Oop. Add event listener. Click. Tell the listener to listen for a click event on the input element. And when it encounters a click event, you want to execute the function click. Very simple, very easy. Let's see if it works. Go over here to my program, run it, and it works. How about that? You click me one times. So you click me two times. Click me a lot of times. So very simple, very easy to do. Um, I mean, look at this, 15 lines of code, and a lot of it is just white space. So really easy to use JavaScript to get a handle on elements and manipulate the content of those elements. Event listeners are a thing of beauty because there's a lot of different events. You can look these up online, different types of events. This is a recognized type, the click event. I can't just put in... Um, I can't put in whatever I want because that's not a recognized event type. But you can go on W3 schools, W3C schools or whatever that website is and check out the different event types so you could see all the different event types and marvel at them. But I hope you guys learned something today. I hope you learned how to manipulate elements in HTML using JavaScript. And I hope you learned a little bit about event listeners because those will definitely come in handy down the road for you. So if you like the video, like it, 
on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I'm going to keep these videos coming. And thanks for watching. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.